Welcome to eProlo Academy. This is your resource for mastering dropshipping. Customer service is crucial for business success, and it includes everything that can prompt your business to success. In this video, we'll cover customer service responsibilities, tips for handling complaints and negative reviews, and how to create a customer tagging system. First, let's look at customer service responsibilities. It's all about ensuring customers have a smooth shopping experience. We'll discuss what customer service needs to do before, during, and after sales. Pre-sales involves building trust through answering inquiries about product information. To aid purchasing decisions and ease the service load, team members must create shopping guidance, Q&A, FAQs, product manuals, and other helpful resources. Additionally, customer service needs to inform customers about promotional events, new products, and offer personalized recommendations based on purchase history. Once the customer decides to buy, your team should provide during sales service, focusing on support during the actual purchase process. To make sure your customers gain a smooth, secure transaction, the team needs to do address verification. If there's an address error, as an Amazon seller, your team should consider the solution based on your shipping options, as you may use Amazon to fulfill the orders or you fulfill the orders. Customer service should also address payment and shipping inquiries. Prepare a manual for potential payment issues and solutions, which helps the team members to solve the issues quickly. Also, consider customer needs and your shipping options to offer preferred choices. This will help ensure a positive experience with each purchase. After completing a purchase, Amazon's customer service team continues to assist with any post-delivery needs. First, the team should inform customers about delivery progress, which helps ensure customer satisfaction. When customers receive the item, they can request returns or replacements, and Amazon's customer service ensures they are supported through the process. For high-tech products, a technical team should be available to provide troubleshooting and usage guidance. Encouraging customer feedback is crucial for future improvements, and follow-up strategies like emails, membership, or rewards can maintain customer loyalty. When your business is on track, you can consider increasing value-added service. One of them can be VIP customer service, which can offer more quick and professional service to high-value customers. You can also consider multi-channel service. By offering multi-channels such as phone calls, emails, and online chat, your customers can reach you easily, decreasing negative reviews. Lastly, the automated service options. For some common issues, you can offer options like automated exchange applications or FAQs to increase efficiency. Customer service plays a crucial role throughout the entire shopping process. However, no matter how perfect your service may seem, there's always the possibility of receiving complaints. When customers voice their concerns, it could be about the product, the service they received, or the overall shopping experience. In these situations, the primary goal of customer service is to offer effective solutions that minimize any negative impact. To do this, it's essential to identify the specific needs behind each complaint. Often, customers seek an apology, wanting reassurance that the business cares about their experience and is committed to making things right. In other cases, they may request compensation for minor flaws in a product that won't affect its functionality. Some customers might seek accountability, hoping for consequences for the seller's actions. Lastly, many simply want to be heard and have their concerns taken seriously. Understanding these needs allows customer service representatives to find the best resolution. However, the final solution will depend on weighing the potential negative impact and associated costs, ensuring an appropriate response to the issue at hand. Regardless of your final resolution, it's crucial to take each complaint seriously. Every complaint should be seen as a second chance to win over your customers. To effectively handle customer complaints, start by listening and acknowledging their concerns. Carefully hearing them out will help you identify areas for improvement and prevent similar issues in the future. 
Show empathy by asking questions and making sure they feel understood. Acknowledge their feelings and offer a sincere apology, reinforcing that you take their complaint seriously. Once the customer feels heard, gather more information about their perspective and document the complaint for future reference and potential legal protection. Based on the situation and company policy, offer an initial resolution. If the customer is still dissatisfied, ask for their opinion on how to make things right. This will help them feel valued. Finally, monitor the situation and follow up with the customer to confirm that their issue has been resolved and they are satisfied. The key to effectively handling complaints lies in making customers feel valued and ensuring they receive a satisfactory solution. However, as you grow with a significant following, it's normal that receive more customer complaints. Imagine you receive hundreds of complaints with only two or three customer service representatives. It can be a total nightmare. So, how to handle customer complaints when you have limited human resources? Here are the solutions. Prioritize your complaints based on their urgency. For instance, if you operate an electronic store and receive a complaint about a product that has exploded, compare the severity of the situation with a customer who has requested the resend of a missing part. This will help you determine which complaint requires immediate attention. It's not that the other customers are unimportant, but rather that your time and resources should be allocated to the most critical issues. Therefore, review all the complaints you've received and prioritize them accordingly. After the urgency, you can follow the order as time, logistics, pre-sales, and products, as Amazon requires you to answer customer inquiries within a limited time, and logistics and pre-sales are important for boosting your sales. You can also leverage the power of automated tools, such as AI chatbot or template. This free you up from the meaningless chat, but straight to the point, increasing the working efficiency. In addition to dealing with complaints, handling negative reviews is also a must-have skill for customer service. Negative reviews often result from unresolved complaints, which can harm your sales and Amazon ranking. Here are some tips for managing negative reviews effectively. First, remember that Amazon allows sellers to communicate with customers to resolve issues. So asking customers to update or remove negative reviews is allowed. To do this, you'll need to find the customer's email address. You can typically find this in the order confirmation details. If you can't find the email address there, try searching on Google, LinkedIn, or social media. Once you have their email, reach out to offer a solution and ask for their feedback. Follow up with emails every few days to show that you care about resolving their concerns. This approach can improve customer satisfaction and may lead to the removal or update of negative reviews. Remember, don't force or bribe them to remove the negative reviews, which can lead to penalties or make things worse. Another way to address negative reviews is to report them to Amazon if they violate the platform's policies. For instance, if a customer posts an abusive or irrelevant review, it's appropriate to report it and request Amazon to take it down. Removing the negative reviews can decrease the impact on your business. However, to run a successful business, reducing negative reviews is the key. Here are five tips to help you achieve this. First up, offer high quality products. Collect all the negative reviews about products and try to optimize your products accordingly. After making changes, send samples to your customers for testing. Also, always conduct quality checks on products before shipping to avoid negative reviews caused by untested or damaged items. Consider joining the Amazon Transparency Program it helps prevent counterfeiting by allowing you to verify the authenticity of your products, protecting your brand's reputation, finally preventing the negative reviews caused by poor product quality. Another tip is investing in post-sale service. Make sure your customers can reach you easily, avoiding the negative reviews from those who feel ignored. If your products require assembly, provide step-by-step -step videos to reduce their confusion and customer service workload. Additionally, 
regularly collect customer feedback to inform product upgrades. Encourage satisfied customers to leave positive reviews by setting up automated emails that are sent after they receive their products. This approach allows you to build a relationship before asking for feedback. Always check in on their experience first. If they express satisfaction, it's a great time to invite them to share their thoughts. Finally, increase interaction with buyers through Amazon's backend. Engaging with customers helps build loyalty and encourages them to leave positive reviews. To enhance your customer service, here we introduce a customer tagging system. It can help businesses improve customer service, marketing, and can report relative info by organizing customer information. Now, let's see how to establish a tailored customer tagging system. First, you need to build a standardized, unified customer tagging database. This includes organizing your customer data and defining the tags based on customer interactions, such as their basic information, transactions, or behaviors. Next, segment your customers by using methods such as RFM analysis, shopping journeys, or touch points. Then, categorize your tags depending on your focus. For instance, if you're focusing on behavior, consider tags like purchase frequency, amount, and channels. If you're looking at predictions, you might categorize tags into groups such as high repurchase intention and potential loss. Following these steps, you'll build a unified database, and this will be a centralized location where you can store all customer information and tagging data. After that, you'll want to tag your customers. You can use automated tools for efficiency, but if you choose manual tagging, be careful to maintain data accuracy. The next step is data cleaning. Import data from relevant sources and ensure it's accurate before proceeding to analysis. Once your data is organized, analyze it to extract valuable insights about customer trends and behaviors. Finally, remember that customer tagging is an ongoing process. Continuously refine and update your tags as customer interactions change to keep your data accurate and useful. With these steps, you'll build a robust customer tagging system that keeps you connected to your customers' needs. By building a tagging system, the customer service team can search for customer data rapidly, such as their age, preference, and purchase history. This allows the customer service team to offer personalized recommendations and services. It helps customers make their purchase decisions and increase customer satisfaction. Customer tags also help to build a VOC mechanism. Tagging customer feedback can be the foundation of establishing and refining the inner customer feedback system, making it a continuous loop. On top of that, it also helps improve products or services. A bonus tip is to increase product values based on the needs of a specific audience. It's easier to get your customers' recognition and make them satisfied. Also, the creation of a tagging system need customer service to encourage customers to provide feedback. This not only enhances customer engagement throughout the interaction process, but also fosters a deeper connection with customers, thereby boosting customer loyalty. Now you know everything about mastering customer service essentials. However, there is still something you should know which is how to build a high-performance customer service team. Now let's get started with team building essentials. As a senior management, learning how to build a powerful customer service data center is important, as it's the key to providing exceptional service, understanding customers, and improving team efficiency. A complete customer service data center should include four parts. First, let's look at sales. As a senior management, you should check daily sales, daily returns, and the number of returns sold. Monitoring these metrics keeps us up to date with how our products are performing daily, allowing us to make quick adjustments when needed. Next, we have team collaboration status. This part of our data center focuses on ensuring the team is aligned and working towards common goals. We track the progress of projects, marketing plan, and coordinate inventory demand. This data helps anticipate the needs of team members and streamline workflow, making sure they can work together towards the same goals. Then, 
will turn to VOC mechanism. And this is all about understanding the voice of customers. By collecting customer feedback through multiple channels and analyze the daily reviews, you can learn where has the room for optimization. Finally, customer service efficiency, a vital part for knowing your team member's performance. Here, we'll measure response time, issue resolution rates, and the overall efficiency of work. By keeping these metrics at our fingertips, we ensure that we're providing fast, effective, and reliable service, which translates directly to happier customers. And there you have it, the four keys of our customer service data center. By keeping a close eye on these data points, we can anticipate customer needs, improve our response times, and work more effectively as a team. To cultivate a high-performance customer support team, it is essential to first establish a well-defined objective. Ensuring that all members of your team concur with this goal is crucial, enabling them to collaborate towards a unified aim. To ensure we're on track, we must consistently check our progress. Every day, each of us should have a clear task list. We'll follow the PDCA cycle, plan, do, check, act. Regularly sharing our progress and insights keeps us aligned with our goals. Our next focus is team culture. We need to create an environment that fosters productivity and camaraderie. Think of it like a school of fish, working in harmony, every member knowing their role. Finally, continuous communication is key. Daily check-ins, weekly reviews, and monthly performance evaluations help us stay connected and informed. It's all about maintaining an open line of dialogue to support each other and address any issues promptly. In customer service, you may encounter some emergency incidents, and how to respond to them is to show your professionalism. Here is what you should do when meeting an emergency. Initially, it is imperative to respond promptly. Start collecting information and making a preliminary evaluation. At the same time, you should maintain clear communication between internal and your customers and update information in time. Then, develop an emergency strategy, allocate resources efficiently, and conduct simulation drills to ensure preparedness. We will employ a structured framework to address problems and make informed decisions. Risk management is crucial in order to mitigate potential impacts. You should also examine the emergency events, identify the lessons learned and continuously refine our processes. A swift response is always paramount. That's all for this video, and thank you for watching. By learning customer service responsibility, you can better refine your customer service team, offering an exceptional service to your customers. Meanwhile, the strategies for handling complaints and negative reviews is necessary for business development. Hope this video helps you refine your customer service team and achieve your greater success. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button this video. See you next time.